First of all, let me thank Feroz, Suda and the whole team of Fires to make me a part of this prestigious platform. And uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a great uh, speaker or something, but I'm just here to share my experiences with all of you. And through my experience, I just come to know one fact of life that, that my family realized when I was born to them, especially my mom and my dad. I, they believe that courage is not something that they had when the tough times started, but they realized that they earned it when they had been through those tough times and then they had brought me to a level where I am today. So first of all, let me thank my mom and my family. Being, being a single parent after the, my father's demise, it was a Herculean task for my mom to play a dual role of being the single breadwinner for the family and to be a dedicated mother to a child like me. But she never gave up on being the cornerstone of my life. It was, it was their belief and their faith in me that today I am and amidst all of you. And uh, when when after 26 years, a man like Sachin Tendulkar told me that you are my hero, you are my inspiration. I think I have not let their pain-taking efforts go waste down the brain. But amidst all this, I always wondered a few things that keep ringing in my mind. It is uh, those questions like, why people with disability are considered as misfits, as underdogs in every walk of life? Why are we seen with sympathy and not with empathy? But I must say, I've been one of the most luckiest persons on earth because I have people around me who have made the reason of their very existence, the fulfillment of my dreams and my aspirations. It leads to the, one of the stories that I relate to my, myself always. It is the story of divine friendship, a friendship between Karna and Duryodhana, because Karna was a man who who had to fight against his own brothers for Duryodhana, though he knew that fight, fighting them would only bring him defeat and humility. But he stood loyally for his friend till his last breath. I found my Karna in my best friend Bharat. It, it was him, it was him who sacrificed four precious years of his academic life just to be my scribe, just to be beside me, help me to reach the height of my dreams. If it was not for him, I wouldn't have become an engineer today. But I am also, I, I hope that there are more platforms like these 
like the IAS, which believe in, uh, in every person's ability to reach the pinnacle of their heights. I want to convey the same message with a small poem of mine. I request Feroz to come on stage and read it out for me, on behalf of me. Thank you. Poem written by Ashwin Karthik. I can win. My eyes can't see, but I dream. My lips don't speak, I want to scream. I can't move my feet, but my mind is in no prison. The strength of my will, second to none. To fall, I will never be shy. My eyes will not leave the sky. I face my fear without a blink. I know my hope will never sink. The dark is no more a scare. I will find the light of my share. Some may say I am a sin, but I know I can win. It's a great pleasure to be standing in front of everyone and thanks Feroz and team for asking me to speak over here is a big, uh, big point and after such an inspiration talk from Ashwin and telling me that I am a Karna of comparing to a, such a big uh, character is a huge, uh, uh, what can I say? <laughs> so thanks to Ashwin. Uh, I want to tell you a few things about who, uh, what can what I feel about Ashwin, sir? Uh, once a single uh, Sachin told me when I met him for the first time, he told a single flower can make a garden and a single friend can make the world. So this was the first time. This was the first sentence which he told me when <laughs> when I met him for the first time. For me, my friend Ashwin is my word. My day it starts with him, ends with him. To have seen him smile is what makes my day. People ask me, why did I sacrifice four precious years of my life just for a friend? As a matter of fact, I don't know why I did so. At the point in time, I only knew that my friend needed my help. I had no clue how big a difference it would have been. All I wanted to do was to help Ashwin. Ladies and gentlemen, today Ashwin is a first engineering graduate and I, I feel a bit proud telling that I have made a small contribution in that. Two things. Two things that inspired me to help Ashwin were the enormous hardship of his mother and brother were going to make, his, to make him achieve what he wants it. Uh, and of course, the never say, the never say the attitude of Ashwin. Today when he is a president award winner, I am proud of myself that I have played a small part in, he rece in reaching where he has. I have been able to understand a small uh, but simple very important fact of life through Ashwin. A small but timely help that what we render to the people who need it would have a major impact on the person who received it. I got a small example here. Once I was taking Ashwin to the third uh, to his classroom on the third floor, we were climbing and Ashwin got tired, so we stood at the sun corner. One of the one of the Ashwin classmates came to us and said that I will hold Ashwin's bag, and that was a great relief for us. So I hope so it might be a small help from your end and the person who receives it might be a bigger help for him so i request each and everyone to help everyone so only after meeting ashwin and his family i have become a better person a better human being and a better profession now i work for hp and, and i am continuously receiving a best award is only because of Ashwin. Ashwin said, I am a Karna, but in my part, he has been the Krishna of my life. He has been the Sutradhara, and because of him, I am what I am today here. 
during the course of long friendship that I have shared with Ashwin, I have come across many special able persons like Ankit, Sandeep Prav, many of them. The one thing in common is that I have found all of them is mental tough, their mental toughness. They have ready to accept the world reserve, worst result, but it doesn't stop them to give their best shot at anything they want to achieve. A small example I want to quote, a small example when Ashwin uh, uh, difficulty to find a job, the numerous unsuccessful attempt to find a job. Not once before an interview, he went unprepared. Though he knew beforehand what the mindset of the intervie interviewer could be, I never seen Ashwin depressed or sad for such a long. Even after so many failed attempts to secure a job, when we had lost hopes and did not want, could be an alternative option for. He always said, I just need one opportunity and all thanks to Shanti Raghavan and Anandibin India, they provided one opportunity and see Ashwin is working for emphasis now. My question to all those people who think that people with special needs cannot be productive is that a person with an attitude to always improve his skills and never lets his mind rest. How can be unproductive? All he needs is an opportunity and a sky will be the limit for them. Thank you so much. Thank you.